Welcome back, everybody. Uh, getting uh, started a little bit late here. Uh, welcome to uh, week two of SBSU Cardinal Esports. We have our Tuesday match. We have Super Smash Brothers looking at the A team today. It is Saginaw versus another school that I was totally told about. Um, but before we started, BW, not don't know, Baldwin Academy from the lovely people who are running the desk. Thank you, people. Um, first match already done. We had our resident Kazuya man, Kazuya man, Casey, uh, running through, uh, starting off with that three stack. It'll be a, it'll be a good start for Saginaw there. Anybody unfamiliar with how this works? This is a four v four, um, Super Smash Brothers. Each peop, uh, four people on each team. Each has three stocks, so each team has a total of 12 stocks. You can go however many you have at any point in time. You know, if you take out the first person and lose one stock, then you'll go up against the second person. You have two stocks left. Go forth. It's, um, yeah, it's a pool of, uh, pool of 12 stocks divided amongst people. So, uh, I am Aquatic. I should have uh, introduced us at the start. I am Aquatic. I am, might, you might not see me for the whole night here. I might go down and play a little bit. And I am joined by my fellow caster here. Oh, I am Arya. Uh, and uh, we we are excited <laughs> again. Ap apologies for going for getting getting in here late. We went right at eight thirty. <laughs> you know, we we got in there. So uh, I think uh, on time after uh, missing missing most of the first game. But looking at uh, looking at some of what we're doing, I'm not quite sure if we know what we'll be seeing character wise. We we saw the dark pit at the start for uh, for Baldwin University. I'm excited to see what. The rest of the characters like to play. It's always because there's so many characters. It's um, it's always fun. Getting everybody, yeah, everybody chooses. I'm simply based on for Matt Io, the Mario profile. One, one it might assume Mario. It might just be assumed. Although I have the the Yoshi egg as my as my background, but I did not play. I think so. Certainly obvious. Uh, maybe, mayhaps. I, I really, I don't know how to get the Captain Falcon one. I, I don't know. Does anybody in the chat know how to, uh, on their Switch? I can't, I want to make my profile Captain Falcon, and I can't, I can't do it. I don't know how. I don't know. Do you have to go to the store? Do you have to no, look on? No, I don't think so. You it's it's not an option. No, it's not an option. And I need it. Mm -hmm. Here. Want, oh, go ahead. I don't, I, I don't know I, how to get it. I don't know. They're just there. I'm like, oh. Anyway, Ari, uh, first or second time streaming, one of, one of the first. Want to talk a little bit about what you do here uh, with Saginaw I Esports? I am a photographer for our team. Around during matches, practice. Okay, I run around, take photos, and... Arya is the one who makes us, uh, you know, the very the very not cool sweaty nerds look actually like we're, we're kind of cool. Make it so look like you guys are actually... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, that's definitely our... Definitely our... I... <laughs> there is not... Um, for, for, uh, where you can see dead pictures that, uh, our photographer takes, um, SVSU, as SVSU Cardinals here on Twitch, we have an Instagram. I think it's SVSU Esports. I want to say, I, you can join the discord if you're here at Saginaw. We also apparently have a Twitter. Imagine it's SVSU. When I go out on a limb and say SVSU, you can see, uh, kind of keep up to date a little bit with what we're doing if you want to see and to see, see, get a get a glimpse if you're not from second and get to see where we come in many of the our little closet where we, uh, where we do things. Maybe we're going on a little like next weekend. Yeah. That'll be fun. We are fair state. Big league act tournament. Um, it'll it's very exciting. Most of the uh, or I, it, I don't know if it's an invitational. There'll be a number of teams from across Michigan, kind of in or from around the region, all meeting up at Ferris State University. Have a uh, to to do the Glee Act. The Act is one of the other collegiate esports people. Getting into the second match here, it'll be Saginaw up twelve to uh, Baldwin's nine at this point. Three, two, 
Me encanta. We see the game. Why do I hear? Oh, there we go. Huh? Oh, they didn't tell the stage. We didn't get the stage bands. They just kind of started going. Um, but Shunsei is going up. We will have a Rob. Very common character. Um, Rob is a very, um, very consistent uh, main to play. A lot of really good options. Can brawl up close and brawl, go from far, uh, fight from far away. Um, not necessarily easy, but one that a lot of people seem to vibe with. Uh, you see Rob's in um, most levels of gameplay. Just a very, a very, um, a good character to play. A good character to play. That means, however. You, a lot of people will know how to fight against Rob. So that's always your double-edged sword. And you, if you pick a top tier, um, yeah, you're playing a better character. But, hey, everybody knows how to fight it. You play Luke, uh, like Lucario, play Mega Man, nobody knows what the heck to do. <laughs> even if the character isn't quite as good as some of the top tier. So. You can even have someone like me, button masher, play the game. <laughs> it is the way. <laughs> it works. It's not good. But, hey, you're still having fun. Ooh, a very solid uh, side special taking out Gun Sage's first stock, who was had some crazy combos so far. Let's see if we can finish one off here. While I'm trying to get back onto stage. Rob is pretty solid off stage, although he is just a very large target, so keeping it off off there can be a can be somewhat easy. Back to neutral here. Now you really don't want Kazuya to get up close. Kazuya doesn't have a lot in terms of range, just has everything uh, in the brawl department. That that's where I'm min-maxing my stats. Big uh, dragon uppercut, I believe. I want to say I I <laughs> use my roommate and I do not. Eat. This is not okay. <clears throat> I really need to learn. But you can see here. We talked about Rob fighting from all ranges. Got the gyro. You got the laser. It Kazu Kazu's one projectile is very slow, very predictable, and not all that uh, beneficial to hit. It doesn't really get you that much. So Rob is definitely could just trying to play, try to space out, trying to throw some projectiles. Then you get those. Things. Wow, really solid combo. Sean Sage taking out um taking out Baldwin University's second player there. Second player only losing one stock. So Saginaw will now be at eleven to Baldwin's six. To Baldwin's down to down to half. Down to half. What are what are, what are your thoughts on the characters? What are, what are, what are your thoughts on Kazuya Man? I would say, Kaya, as somebody who's not very familiar with fighting games, they don't necessarily as you. Have, By doing that, they're kind of the idea. And I feel like in that way, it kind of as somebody who's never been. Yeah. Sure. He looks at fairly so, but it's like the realizing Rob's projectiles saying, hey, like, take at it. Yep. And he's gone. <laughs> there there he goes. Uh Kazuya in in terms of in terms of simplicity, he he has a he has a singular game plan. That is to land is to hit you like a single time with one kill you at zero percent. That, in, that in, in fact is the pretty much the entire plan. Um one thing that there is that there is for Kazuya is Kazuya has more moves than any other character in the game. Most characters have jab, a dash tag. Like three tilts, uh, five aerials, four specials, like grab. Kazuya has, Kazuya has like 60 moves, 60, 70, 80 moves. It's insane. Oh, he has a lot of moves. Now you don't use a solid third of them, maybe half, but I guess they're not particularly good. But um, yeah. Ooh, look. Oh, we're gonna take it to Kalos. Kalos is a uh, one of the larger stages in the game. There are, it's the only tournament legal one in NECC that has walls on the side instead of like uh, more empty space underneath the stage. So some characters, uh, um, more than half, have a wall jump. So a lot of characters can use to help her back onto the stage. Um, it changes 
edge guarding a little bit. And I was like, example, if you're a villager, you can just drop the forward smash bowling ball. And uh, <laughs> they can't go onto the stage to avoid it. So um, there's also, as you can see, there's some platforms on the side and then a very big open space. And Kazu does like big open space. Uh, it, it, and funny combos, funny combos. Kirby here, uh, Kazu said, get up close, get get a hit, big combo. That is also Kirby's game plan. Kirby is is very light, very floaty, uh, and also has these really close, really fast brawl, uh, close range poke tools. So th it's it's a very explosive matchup because both characters want to get close to each other. Uh, if I so, get up there and be like, hey, I'm in your face. Yeah. It's simply who can be in the face, uh, be, be in the face better. Now, Kazuya also has a lot of moves that have invincibility on them. So that that can come into play. Hello, Kirby down tilt does trip, which kind of just goes through armor. So there there is that. There's that. Getting launched a little bit. Oh, keeping the hands warm. Gotta keep the hands warm. Cool. Going for an F smash. Page is up to uh, 130 on the stock. Will lose it soon. Can't find a few. Wing in. You see, playing it slow. Both characters, they, they want to get in at the time that they have an opening. You know, you don't want to rush it. You still don't want to rush it. I don't want to rush it because there goes Kirby. Because uh, you're rushing into somebody who has the same strengths as you. Oh, and there's the spike. Oh. Really solid there from Baldwin going, uh, see, recognizing that Sage couldn't do anything, couldn't get back there as your recovery just goes up. So uh, if you put that. Yup. Yup. <laughs> those are some, we're familiar with those combos. We've seen a few of those around here. Uh, oh, oh yeah. Ooh, really solid parry there into a combo. Oh, that, yep. I, I don't even know it. That, yep, that is a classic. Hey, Baldwin, <laughs> the death like, punch. we're done with yes. Sage. We need to Big. Gone. Oh, can Sage get the combos going? It's a big percent. Of course, Kirby is a much lighter character. The goal is to send the opponent as far as possible, and Kirby gets sent further. Kazuya is a heavyweight. So, man, if you get hit, oh boy. Oh, this this might just be it. Oh, just barely misses that. Just barely doesn't get it out in time. See, they're trying to find the ele uh, ele electric wind. Dragon? Dragon something. Now smash maybe. Oh! Ooh. What are those? What are those? Boy! Boy! Down smash. Down, sm down smash is a very funny move. It's a very funny move. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it spikes. Oh boy! <laughs> dunked without actually dunking. Yeah. Uh, so it'll now be Sage. One stock left. That'll put Saginaw at a total of 10 stocks remaining. And Baldwin at three on their last character. 12 stock Where potential. Sage there. Couldn't quite. Uh, still on our oh. first player. Still on our first player. The 12 stock potential. The 12 stock potential. Interesting. So we've seen... Just Kaza, here for a second. In Dark Pit, Rob, and Kirby. So that is a good spread. You have you have you have a good number of options. Pit is kind of an all-arounder. Rob is an all-arounder, but out of sword. Uh and with a laser beam. And Kirby's that that very close range brawler. So maybe we'll see something projectile-y. You generally get Normally, uh, you have, you know, you play your character and it's a 1v1, and you have to worry about, oh, my character doesn't do well in these. But in a crew battle setting, you have your team to have. You can kind of spread out. You can you can play characters that have a couple more, have stronger strength, like Kirby. Kirby, and it, I don't want it. He's a little ball of hit boxes. <laughs> a little ball of very, very painful hit boxes that lead into each other. Very painful. Oh, He's not trying to hug you. He's trying to trying to squeeze the life out of you. He's trying to break your spine. Oh man. Uh, so maybe we'll see something projectile. Maybe see man, man, maybe young link something. You can kind of guess somewhat based on what the stages are, what stage gets picked. Ah, uh, but yeah. Oh, super oh, awesome. it is Mario. Hey, we did say Mario. I had a good guess there. It was it was a good guess. It was a good guess. We will see. Uh, we will see the Mario man. Another close range character. The close range character. Um, very brawly, very brawly. Like like Kirby, but just better. <laughs> Just a, it's just a better character. Unfortunately, Kirby is very slow. Very slow. Um, so at the very highest level. Man. Only because you don't camp at the bad time. Uh, I do shout out to Jason. 
Number two, Kirby in the yeah. For being number two. Psh, psh, strange. Psh. Plus is number one. Mario. So Mario Kazu is a very because it's the same it's the same kind of shtick as Kirby, but Mario actually has a has a projectile that you can use fireball. You can top of the fireball, run behind it, and they usually have to shield. If they shield, then you can grab. Or if they jump away, you can, uh, you can go and hit them. So there's a lot more, uh, there's a little bit more you have to worry about in that regard. You can't phase too far back as Kazu. You need to make sure to get in there. A lot of Mario's aerials, he has really long strings like Kirby. Uh, that take you close to the blast zone and then hopefully spikes you with forward air. But really stubby hitbox too, also like Kirby. Very, very, very stubby. And if if Kazuya can uh, yeah, they're 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 very they're small yeah, little guys. Looks like he could and Yeah. And then you got Kirby who's probably about literally the size of <laughs> literally a soccer ball. <laughs> what? You know you have a lot of hitboxes to deal with, but Kazuya is blue. Kazuya has um so match up instead. Both, both, um, both characters can absolutely explode the other if they get their hands on them. You know, one Mario combo hits you with a rising up air at 30, you're dead. You're just dead. Down. Yeah, just don't get hit. Just don't get hit. Simply don't get hit. Uh, <laughs> makes exciting, exciting, exciting. You know, I don't see many of, uh, many Mario's games. Most, most Mario's I see run the default Mario. Um, it's just KPTOG, I guess. Yep. So, why? Purple? Purple? Not silver. We'll see. It's not. He normally runs the silver the silver suit. Today he is grape. Hey, kid. <laughs> Couple of combos. You can see both characters, again, want to be in close, want to hit each other, but... Uh, Gotta do it at the right time still. At the right time. Getting some coin. Maybe try to get a crumple onto the platform. Uh, we lose it for a quick sec. We're back. Mario down throw is a terrifying move that leads into uh, some of his craziest combos. Using that flood charged up for Mario. You you can uh you can just kinda get grimy gimps. Get that move. Move is shoots out a burst of water after you charge it up and it flings you towards the blast zone. So if you're trying to recover, you can just sometimes be dead. All you need right now is a is a solid F smash. You got a lot of rage too. All characters do a little more damage and knockback once they get the percents up. So I mean, yeah, oh, this percent especially, Kazuya uh, will simply blow up if you buy an F smash. There. Got the rage drive. There's the uppy. Wow. Rage drive is a, a little thing that Kazuya gets once a stock. Once he gets above 100, it makes one of uh, a couple of his moves a little better. He also. Oh my gosh, that was terrifying. He gets a hit. Dying. Lots of damage. The up smash Sage is at 143. There's the electric wind. Couldn't quite. The DI in will keep it. Loses rage drive as well. 57% will. No, doesn't get the grab. Not get the roll behind grab at ledge. The four smash tries just barely the downer. 160. Don't say just still hanging on. Mario was trying to find a combo starter. Couldn't quite do it. Now 103 himself on the second stock. And maybe the back throw. Oh, oh and there goes Sage. No 12 stock? No like 12 stock? Hammer. <laughs> yep. There he goes. There he goes. That was a full. That was that was a big yeah. There he goes. Um 12 stock range. <clears throat> uh so now we will get to see what what else Saginaw has. They get to throw in their second player. They have nine stocks to old wins two. Um, hey, never out of it. Never out of it. Um, Sage is one of our better players, and if, if, uh, if the Mar Mario can just, those Mario combos are absolutely insane. One, one, like, and you have multiple ways again. You have down throw, down tilt, um, rising or falling up air, rising or falling there, falling back air. It just, it, half of Mario's moveset will lead into a crazy combo that kills you at, like, 30%. That's that should be pretty close. Falco also has really good combos, uh, but also has a laser beam. Um, 
will that will force Mario to get in. Allow the Falco to react with up tilt, which also crazy combos. Although Mar Mario is a bit of a smaller target, can't uh, exactly. Uh, Something like Kazuya is. We will see the Falco. We will see. Um... Same interest. I don't know what you're. Falco. Um, a lot of combos. Very cool. Okay, I've seen our players. Bayonetta and also Falco a lot. combos i'm like what how are you gonna like just one? there's for some you never truly find it never truly find it and sometimes for some people you don't choose the character the character chooses. captive falcon chose me he really did <laughs> yeah he stole he stole my heart there's nothing i can do now i cannot decide on a secondary try to cover some of falcon's bad I've been trying for years, um, but but I always have Falcon. Good character, good character play. Yeah. Boom! Oh yeah, the the side. Go. Let's see how this will uh, work out. <laughs> he almost. Oh, yeah, okay. oh, here we see some of the classic Falco combos right at the start. Gets 50 off a single hit. Um, landing there. We will see a lot of that up tilt attack. This one that leads into the rest of his hit very strongly. Hasn't taken a hit yet. Keeping the Mario off stage. Mario's recovery is perfectly average. Um, it it has per perfectly average. Uh, it has a hitbox attached to it. It's, it's quite fast at frame three. Um, goes a decent enough distance. It is what Mario is supposed to be. Like, very standard right at the start. Uh, nothing, nothing too, nothing too. I can't. Oh, he's the... oh man. Yeah, he's he's like supposed that. to be the standard. In this game, he's evolved, especially over the as the games have progressed and he's changed. He's evolved into more and more of a, a combo character, as opposed to just a purely fundamental character. But he uh, he still he still holds that that standard spot. See the keeping keeping Ross off stage a little bit. Yep, up tilt back air. Classic, classic up tilt back. Um, that move, that, that move comes out at frame five and leads in the back air at like every percent is it's so good. That is single-handedly what makes Falco at. Um, I think now, I think at this point, uh, we will, we'll switch the casters around a little bit. I think, uh, we might get a fun like We will take a quick break as we figure that out.
It's slightly different. Slightly. I'm still stuck with me. Now stuck. We had a mainly the mainly the man in the suit and or miss. That, that bird and absolutely gotta choose a what do you guys think half asleep I don't know. But uh, we are we have the first stage ban. I think we're currently rock, paper, scissoring for who's going first in the room, most likely between Connor and Andrew. <laughs> uh, we, first ban is going to be PS2. So, you know, the generic neutral option gone. And my best guess is that it is Andrew going in. Not like the top flat, however. Probably a Elko's. The almost. Sorry, not Falco Fell. Fusion there. It's not, it's con. Guess I don't. I thought I, I assumed I knew. Started. They want the run. Might be a button check. It's looking like a button check, or it's looking like Baldwin is a. Uh, nope, they're, they're here. They're all good. The taunt to start the game off. Something's gonna happen soon. They'll figure it out, and we'll. I'll stay. Look at the immaculate. How oh, rip. Jumping around, having fun. Okay, it looks like they're ready to start now. Going in. Connor, being a Falco, if he gets a hit, it's going to be a cutscene. We're no longer playing Smash Bros. Spamming your X button. Then you get those uns. It's like it gives you the skip option, but fuck, apparently. Good hair. Mario also sort of has that with up airs. Elko's. Likes to fly. Like sending other people. Give him a quick, you know, flight lesson. Trial by fire. Fire, you know. Shove, shove him off the nest. Shove him off. Give the fix a. Quick push, hope, instinct, kick in. And it's fine. He's a stubby guy. He doesn't have much. Falco really likes throwing out, like, long-lasting hit. That just catch you. Combos? Hard time trying to... Probably can do Personally, We're back here. And I was like, oh, oh. Starting to go off stage a bit, trying to catch the off guard. Dodges the cape, just waits for the grab. Okay, the main thing he's looking for is just going to be up till back here as a kill confirm. And technically speaking, he's got a stock to spare per. <laughs> <laughs> right, I was not ready for more here. <laughs> He decided the bird was no longer flying. Oh, Mario got him and left. He decided the bird was not flying high enough, apparently. I have a jump, so yeah, that's not going to be making it back to stage. Managing to force him to try and like recover from far enough away. But oh, I forgot the reflector. It's 
It's not shine. It might be shine. Falco just kicks his shine. It is shine. Thankfully, it's not melee shine. I have to worry about that again. Fox he's a bird. He likes shine. He's got some flair with it, you know. Fox, he just like turns it on on him. Falco, he kicks it out, you know. You gotta be. You gotta fancy. share your. Be... You gotta be flamboyant, you know. I'm gonna say. I don't know actually. Uh, I really had a pit. I forgot what their second character is. I know they got a Kirby, and I know that we just saw the Mario. Was it a Rob? Okay. Reasonably speaking, they're not sending in the Rob because that's just going to be more free combos. They're sending... That's, that's the old chat. I feel like their best chance is probably... It's just got to be either the Kirby or the Pit. Oh, secret third option. The Shoto. A single thing about this matchup. I have never seen this happen. I think I watched like a first of five with Tilde and Riddles once, and that is. Yeah, he's got the hat. He's got the ponytail. He asked if you're okay a lot. I'm not, I mean, not anymore. Not anymore. We were before. We were before the command grab. Okay. What what stage are you hoping to? See? <laughs> just hoping they pull a Mario Maker real quick. No, I'm I'm a. I'm a... a Bobob is always fun. Just come, just saying hi. Uh... Okay, it looks like we're taking out. Okay, I think he just doesn't like Kalos. I think he does not like the wall. Just Falco recovery. Yeah, he can't really make it. Different. He's forced to just go straight up. Understandable. And the other two maybe just doesn't like smaller stages because Falco combos go, oh, like they cover a lot of this. Time to see how the Terry stacks up against the. <laughs> he's got to rep the game he's from, you know. He really does just look like they looked up American Trucker, and then turned it Japanese. That's not the right. He's 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 a he's a fighting game character. There's all builds. Already starting out forty seven percent and falling him off stage. I think he assumed he was off stage still with the up B. I hate the net catches there. I could have lived without knowing that catching his jump with the laser and that's gonna be enough. That's probably gonna be the one thing he's gotta worry about a lot, just cause I know Connor really, he's really good at hitting him off stage, which is why he likes doing it, but he really likes doing the laser off stage just to try and catch early options. Harry can't really get back without his jump as easily. His recovery is not bad for the Shotos, but it's not the best. Like, if I wanted to go up to someone and be like, I heard me. And then, like, imagine doing that for. Just like taking a laser shot to the best. Suit. I'm fine, we're good. You have to be like. You know, it's just they're playing laser tag, you know? He's, he's gone. Yeah, no, there's, there's a side B spike in the down air. Uh, I think there was like 40. I wasn't looking at the percents. It was really early considering he went barely anywhere from both of the spikes. Are we managing to clean up the second game without losing his stock? He's still got two left in the tank. His current goal is there's there's a bit of a there's a bit of a competition currently on the Smash A team to see who gets the first 12 stock. I don't know if Andrew already mentioned that, but he, there's a. So, he was really close. He was too cool off. Mm -hmm. Maybe the next one. 
basically three of them just rock paper scissors to see okay who's starting first this game because <laughs> they they wanted to find out because we have our starting players which is most of them and then our designated anchor and that's about how our team is set up Casey normally it is just send Mr. Mishima to on cleanup duty He looks fancy. He has two bumps with Falco, but actually this time, not on Kirby. Oh, so did they? Uh, no, they said they sent bumps in as Falco last game, but then they, he was on Kirby, so they actually said Falco's the Kirby. Oh, they're cha I just realized they're challenging the Falco for the Falco. We got a ditto here. They're different. I will not tell. Uh, one will be darker if they're not if they're diff not different colors. So honestly, it's easier to tell sometimes. Like bright pink, green. FD Kalos and Town and said he really just does not like Kalos. He's mainly. We got. Aww. Two He's Animal Crossing one. Going back to PS. PS2 is the, uh, we don't really know where we're going, so we're going here of the Smash Bros. community. If they ban out the stage you really wanted to go on, you're just like, yeah, we'll go PS2. If they ban out PS2, then we have no idea what to do. I'm gonna be honest. Honor. Do him off the stage as soon as he remembers. And then hopefully the, the stutters will be stuck. Nope, I shouldn't have said anything. I shouldn't have acknowledged it. It got worse. Hands off my, hands off they both did the thing. <laughs> All right, going to... <laughs> I think they're both looking for the exact same combo start. I'm going to be entirely honest. Yep. Just different afterwards. It looks like... Bumps, I believe that is who it is, is possibly more like read-oriented. Meanwhile, Connor is going more so for... A guaranteed option, so it's gonna be like less damage from counters options, but they're possibly gonna be going on for longer. Meanwhile, bumps wants the harder punish, but at the trade off, like maybe not hitting it. That's gonna be a force. I beat a ledge, he's gonna catch him with that down tilt. Both another Falco stuff. We saw the IDJ up here after the up tilt. I'm just not gonna try. Both ways. I can tell you oh, you're beating uh, that could be a dead. Yeah. Oh Falco is a very linear recovery and then also he has really good spikes. So if you are recovering in a bad spot in this matchup, you should reasonably die. Remember, he has taken seven. I can count. Doing fine. Managing to break out of the combo. Is Nair just the combo breaker for Falco combos? Is that what I'm seeing here? Is Falco Nair the answer to Falco? Falco problems? Try Falco. <laughs> Have a conversation, but they're fighting over the early worm, you know. <laughs> Barely missing the down tilt, trying to go for the roll read. That's gonna be an up air. I was gonna say back air, but he was apparently too high a percent. Honestly, either of them could die here from one interaction. Whoops. <laughs> All Baldwin needs is an up tilt and a back air. I mean, the eye, or possibly an up air. And then is going to need a whole lot more. <laughs> right. Google for both. Up tilt. Up air. 
a bit dangerous. That was enough special yeah. coming out, and there it is. Definitely very fast paced. Oh, oh, Got these. Sorry. Got it, Barely big. But the the her back story of why they seem fast. Faces and melee, their character type of generally they are like faster falling characters. A lot of their moves. From what I can grasp, I haven't actually looked into what Spacey is by definition, but I know it's like Falco, Fox, that sort of thing. Wolf? Uh, Wolf is just a neutral character, I'm being entirely honest. But Fox and Falco still sort of feel like you're playing melee sometimes, and that game was so faced. Uh, honestly, we're probably seeing small battlefields left open, because now it should be Andrew going in. What a... Resident Falcon player. Going from one bird to another. What type of bird? A person. Not just not just human. Maybe. He has a has, he does have a gun in in the comics, not the anime. He doesn't use it here. If only. If okay. if only he had a projectile. Actually I don't want to live in that world. Up when you Oh, oh, but Banjo. Banjo. Where's the, where's the jigsaw piece? I can hear it clanking in the... Banjo and... I've seen... Alright. Understandable. So we're sending in Risky Boy on a bear. The bear and the bird. Is there still another bird? You know what? Fair enough. Huh? Dog! I, I, he's a bear. Is he not a bear? Or is he a beaver? What is he? We call him a bear in the Smash community. Correction, we call him a bear here second almost the time. Actually, I think every time we have referred to him, he was just like the bear. Yeah. He said bird, and I was... No, Banjo's got Kazooie, you know. Uh, the Is he not a bear? He's a bear. We were... Consult the we, internet. We've consulted the internet. He's apparently a bear. They, they are. Honey... Is, a honey badger? Is, so he's a he's a mix, you know? One, a grizzly bear got a bit lost. They're going to Hollow Bastion, taking the one central plat, and we're probably going to see Payton under there a whole Bear. Bird has to disappear twice. Fine. I don't know where I was going. Back in. Already at 47. I'm not even going to ask. <laughs> Four hits. He's gone. Eggs are... Yep. And then the side beat. This is basically going to be... Uh, rush down with a character that does not normally rush down, but he can, because uh, there's only one stock for Peyton to worry about. He has no reason to worry about his resource management. Maybe another side beat to catch neutral. Oh, oh, nope, just catch the up beat going to ledge. Oh, right. I yeah, shouldn't... Put it off of that, Ed. I shouldn't have questioned the bear. You got it. Take out take out your banjo. Take out your kazoo, even though it's not a kazoo. That might be a kazoo. It looks more like a horn. Yeah, maybe a very odd... Trumpet for those without fingers. Trumpet of the swan. Honey bag. Calling him a bear. Don't need honey. Going with bear. big red stamp bear. Yeah. Gotta throw uh, a bear from fire service. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> throw one of these days. You gotta throw. Okay. And are they preventing me or, or am I preventing forest fire? 
the game's going? I don't know. We went too far. Not okay. Back to the match. We will be seeing if there is a, a second Kirby? Second Kirby player. Is that the same? No, because Bumps played Kirby before. <laughs> Throw up in the chat. Send us up a bit. Okay. All right. No, I'm pretty sure Bumps played Kirby the first time, and Lynx did play. Have they have two Kirby's. Yeah. They got two Kirby's. All right. So in the league we're currently in, you cannot send duplicates of the same character. So like if the first person played Kirby, for instance, the second person cannot then play Kirby. Which is probably why they're swapping off. <laughs> you cannot have all curb. Normally it goes the other way. Going back to PS2, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the stadium from Pokemon, because we're going we're going again. There is more. Like the flashbang background, which is so many of the maps one actually. And one. I believe Smash Four found this nation at one point. The entire back of the screen went completely white for like three seconds, and it, it sound it's just as bad as it sounds. Your characters become silhouettes more than characters. I can remember. <laughs> Ass of colors. I I don't know what's happening. I don't know where. I'm back. Kirby currently looking at 92%. Gonna be almost kill percent because he's light, but make it kill percent. Never mind. There goes Kirby. Dying bolt. He's off to go and find two lanes. Drag down there looking. Almost made it the up tilt. If only that had a scoop hitbox. Just give him snake up tilt. It's already mostly there. Give him the rest of it. The main problem Kirby has here is once again we are we are stubby lads. Banjo with an F smash that's almost a sword character is gonna have a fun time trying to deal with Kirby up B. Able to. So oh, speaking of, they just did. Hey. Now that yeah. he has a mostly useless egg. Oh yeah, I see that. Now. It's uh mainly it's mainly for pokes. So he can now sorta join Banjo in the zoning, but not by much. Oh yeah. At, at first I was like this. Now I see like Yep. I don't I know in some characters not more. YouTube we get it. We get Mewtwo's tail. Probably look. Currently, we are going to be seeing Peyton with him on his last stock. This is actually might be kill percent if he gets the up air. Ooh, up and there he it. goes. And Peyton running through four, I believe, without dropping a stock. Almost doing it, but managing to finish it off. So I believe, unless I can't count, that was all of them. Okay, I can I can count to four. Let's go. <laughs> so that will be it for smash a team we may be back with smash b team playing we'll find out however if we are not thank you everyone who tuned in stream today the final score is going to be 2-0 in favor of saginaw valley against baldwin state and we will see you again on wednesday tomorrow night with league of legends thursday with overwatch and then friday with rocket league we also might see you in about five minutes, so we're going to send it over to ending stream. If we are not back up, it means we are not streaming C team. In that case, we may be back. If not, have a good night.
Jesus. 